Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this MSI RTX 4080. This has been sent in. Uh, there's a note with it and we'll go over that shortly. It does have a sealed sticker on it, so we may be the first ones to open this, which is good news. There's a very good chance we can then fix it. So we're going to go over the note right now and see what the customer says. So he says the card turns on and the fans spin. When the card is set as primary, the PC does not post and will just freeze. Uh, when the card is set to secondary and the integrated graphics has been forced, the card is detected within the BIOS and also detected when booted into Windows. In Windows, the card can be seen by GPU-Z, however, not all data on the card is available. NVIDIA drivers can be installed and the device detected in Device Manager with correct driver assigned. So, we know he's plugged this in, we know the card is detected, we know it can boot to Windows, and if he has to actually reboot that, he will see a code 43 on the card, very likely, as a secondary. So, just to explain a bit more about this, on any cards using GDDR6X memory. If any of those modules at any point lose contact with the core, so some connections are severed or there's a problem with the module itself, usually on GDDR6X cards, the card will actually not post. If you have a CMOS speaker attached to your board, you'll get a three beep code to say that the device was not detected. If you have a boot code that actually shows you the numbers, you'll see an error B2. Right, so this is very common on GDR6X cards, and because we know this has powers and it can be detected, we're going to plug it in, and we'll go straight away and do a memory test on it and see if we can spot the faulty module on this. Okay, so we're just going to initialize the device. And when it's initialized, we'll now run a simple memory test. And there's our results. As you can see, everything there looks normal. Let's go through them. And there we have a problem. So this is on channel C0. That's where the first errors now show. And nothing else. Again, that's on C0. Right, so what I'll do is I'll transfer this to a log and then we'll uh, take a better look. Will be more clear if I do this from the Windows desktop. Anyway, we have the problem on C0, and we'll open up the card now and take a look what's going on around there. Uh, most likely, we'll lift the module and we'll go from there. Right, so here's our stripped down board. This is what the 4080 looks like. And we're going to find module C0 right now. So looking at pin 1 on the core, which is up here, we're going to count anti clockwise. So A1, A0, B1, B0, C1, and C0, which is up here on this corner. Now, we do notice that there's a small amount of bending on the bottom side of this board, so we're not sure why it's affected that module. There may have been an event which has pulled it. So what we'll do is remove this module and take a look underneath, see if we can spot any problems. Uh, hopefully this will not end up being a core reball, and it'll just be a reball on the memory module. Maybe a trace repair under there. We'll find out shortly. All right, so here we are. This is the module removed. We have wicked the pads and we're just inspecting it right now. We can't see anything wrong with it. There's no separate traces. There's no damaged uh, components. Everything looks okay. The board itself is all right as well. And there was no indication of any bad solder. As you can see from the module here, everything looks normal. Uh, it is likely that the solder balls cracked under here when the card was bent. It could also be that 
we have some damage under the corner of the core right over here so i said it's, it's also quite frequent and common so what we'll do is reball this module and we'll get it back on this card and see if we have any improvement failing that we might be looking at a core ribble when you feel the world is over when you say you feel Right, so here's our board it's got the module back on now and as always when you replace a component you want to check that rail for shorts so we're going to check the memory rail now for any shorts so our memory rails over here and we're just going to probe it right here so currently the card is showing 25 ohms it is still hot that should increase which is normal checking 1.8 volts and we have no short um, my probe is on beep mode so if i touch ground you'll hear the beep so we have nothing there, and the pack should be fine. We haven't touched anything on that rail. Okay. So we're going to now assemble this up and put it on test. See if we still have any memory problems. And then we'll address any problems from there. The night has come. It's cold and losing my control. Your light is gone. Darkness fill my soul I wish that you could save me From my isolation It's way too complicated I stop this conversation I stop this conversation We got no relation Darkness fill my soul I wish that you could 
Conversation.